But I deal here with what ethics and philosophy come from being fed on fairy tales. If I were describing them in detail, I could note many noble and healthy principles that arise from them. There is the chivalrous lesson of Jack the Giant Killer, that giants should be killed because they are gigantic. It is a manly mutiny against pride as such. For the rebels are older than all the kingdoms, and the Jacobin has more tradition than the Jacobite. There is the lesson of Cinderella, which is the same as that of the Magnificat Exaltative Humlis. There is the great lesson of Beauty and the Beast, that a thing must be loved before it is lovable. There is the terrible allegory of the Sleeping Beauty, which tells how the human creature was blessed with all birthday gifts, yet cursed with death, and how death also may perhaps be softened to a sleep. But I am not concerned with any of the separate statutes of Elfland, but with the whole spirit of its law, which I learnt before I could speak, and shall retain when I cannot write. I am concerned with a certain way of looking at life, which was created in me by the fairy tales, but has since been meekly ratified by the mere facts.